Welcome YouTube, it's Wolfen here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Well, today we are going to do a first, first impressions and a short little walkthrough on a new ghost hunting game that came out on Friday named Ghost Exiles. And Friday is in uh, January 7th, 2022. So I believe it came out then. It's in early access. It's still, I mean, and this is, I mean, early access means early access. I know there are some games that have been out there, like Phasmo, that have been in early access for a year and a half. This is a game that's been in early access for five days. So remember that. Um, because this game has a lot of potential. I am thoroughly enjoying this game. There's some there's some bugs. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's priced about the same price as Faz was when it came out. Uh, around $13.50. Or $13.50, $13.99, something like that. Um, I bought it. Uh, would I suggest buying it? Um, honestly, yeah, I would. If you're in, if you are into these type of games, I would buy it. Uh, one, because it's it's decently good, right where it's at. It's got some issues, it's got some bugs, but it's five days old, folks. Um, as far as the early access period, I know what Faz was like at that point. It's Faz, I think, was probably worse. Uh, Obsidio was probably worse at this stage. So, if you bought those games at that early stage, then yeah. Then I would definitely buy this one at this stage. Um, the game is kind of a combo of most of the ghost, ghost games out there. You've got a little bit of Faz in it. You've got a little bit of Obsidio. You've got a little bit of Ghost Hunter Core. Uh, there's even a little bit of Malum. So, I would definitely... I would definitely suggest buying it if you like these type of games. It's not as... Like Obsidio, it's not as much observation stuff, but you've got the ritual, you've got the, uh, you have to hunt for a lot more stuff in this game. Uh, you actually have to look in drawers in this game. So uh, for certain items that will help you with your ritual and things like that. The game is based off a level system and certain items in the game you cannot use until you get a certain level. You do have to buy the items. Uh, you start with, you start with most of your items as far as being able to get the evidence, but there are two pieces of evidence gear that you have to wait till you get to a certain level and then be able to buy them. So there's going to be some times where you're only going to get two pieces of evidence because it might be one of the others, which honestly for me so far has been helpful because if it's been a ghost that was, I had two pieces of evidence, I get down to like two ghosts. One of those ghosts has a special piece of gear that I don't have yet. And the other ghost has gear that I do have. It's either it's that or it's the other one. So I've been getting ghosts right that way uh, currently. It's just lack of lack of evidence. But but no, the ghost the game has definitely been fun. It's definitely got some interesting jump scares, um, like one I'm calling the portal portal from hell. Um, it's got some women crying, some babies crying at certain points. Uh, when the ghost gets pissed off a couple times, especially like using the Ouija board, it uh, gets pissed off. But the game is the game has been fun. Uh, jump scares so far have been off and on. I think it's going to get better. I think part of it's more me than the game. I think it's just I'm not triggering the effects uh, well enough. So, but like I said, I've been playing this game I think since Sunday. So I'm very, very fairly new, which is why I'm doing my first impressions while everything is in my head. So there's a lot of stuff in the game I do not know. So do not take anything that I say as, oh, this is this is wrong with the game. No, it's that right now I haven't figured out how to do it in the game. Uh, currently, the game does not have a tutorial. They are working hard on getting that tutorial made, but I'll be totally honest, tutorial would be nice, but the between the book and the computer, which I'll show you here in a minute, uh, it tells you how to do everything so the tutor the, the tutorial I, I what I'm hoping with the tutorial is what you should be expecting as far as how the ghost is reacting on how to help you find the ghost so but let us go in here and let me show you around so come on game there we go all right What's funny is this yesterday was a room. <laughs> we were basically just in a room and that was it. 
And it might have even been this room. Let me let me walk over here. Okay, you've got all this to explore. Oh, actually it was. This was our room yesterday. Actually, no, it wasn't. There, but but yeah, there is also a story mode coming with this, which I can't wait for. It's one thing I always wanted in Faz, was there to be a story mode. But you know, we've got this area. But there's a lot of little different. There's a lot of different little stuff here that is kind of cool with the game that I'm kind of enjoying messing with. Uh, not sure what's in here. Just looks like a bed and stuff. Not even sure if we can go in there. Let's look over here. Some of this stuff is actually stuff I've not even done yet. Um, I keep hoping to find where we where we were at yesterday. No, we can't go in there. I thought maybe that was the area that uh, where we started at, but I don't think so. All right, let's go back. Oh yeah, this is our sprint. It's a little weird. Oh no. Okay, I wish we sprinted like this in the game, but we don't. In game, it's a little different. All right, let's show you the book first. So the book is actually pretty good. Um, though, getting back and forth, you basically, what I do is I just click out of the book, click back in. So if I want to go to evidence, boom. If I want to see what one of these ghosts do, then I click that and I go back to type of ghost. And then I find my ghost in here. And same with, the fo uh, same with photos and stuff. Which is basically kind of like phases. Um, you can also click on, you know, that instead of flipping through all the pages, you just go through that. But you've got your evidence. Uh, this game, you have three different, you've got the normal evidences that we're normally seeing in like Phasmo, Obsidio, things like that. But we've got extra. We've got one is a haze, which is basically this big gigantic blue globe that's floating in the ghost room uh i say ghost room it's basically the ghost favorite room because the ghost will travel everywhere in the house so just be aware of that but there is a favorite room and that's where the haze would be hanging out at uh your trace of ectoplasma is fingerprints um laser projection is dots for those that know phasmo voice recorder is new this is something that no game has right now which I actually love because this is what you would see in a ghost show where they talk into, you know, they ask questions, um, then they start a recorder, and then they play it back. That's what this does, which I find really cool. Uh, this is another one. We've had this in other games, the motion sensor, but this is also part of the evidence gathering in this game. But you've got motion sensor, it's, and this is all the same piece of gear. You've got your motion sensor, but your motion sensor can also be an infrared sensor. Infrared is is the evidence. Motion sensor is usually just an objective, but it's the same piece of gear. So if it's motion, it's going gonna, it's gonna to light up green. If it's uh, infrared, it's going to light up orange. Uh, I don't think there's anything else new. Okay, that's pretty much. Uh, here we have 20 ghosts. Um, and yes, we're already calling this ghost as the pistachio ghost. So, unlike Faz, which I can't remember exactly how many ghosts Faz has, um, but this one has 20. And let's see here. You've also got Seals. Oh, let me go back here. So, Sandy is just like the other games. You're worried about your Sandy. You're worried about everything coming down. Um, Seals is new. Seals, you need, red, you need paint cans, and you have to draw. I have not done this part yet, so I have no idea what I'm doing with that. Um, but you do have sills that you'll have to put down and each sill does something different. You do have a ritual, ritual of exile, um, which is like Obsidio and Malum. In this case, remember what I was saying? You have to, you're having to check all the dresser drawers in the game. Every house will have basically a name card. Uh, basically, it's kind of like the what the ghost had as an ID in the house at the time. Uh, but it'll have its name and its age. You have to find that for the ritual. Then you've also got, you also got, you know, prepare the correct sigil, which the ghost will tell you, whichever ghost it is will tell you what that is. So actually, let me show you this here. Evidence. So let's say it's Poltergeist. Ancient Rite of Hesigal. 
is the is the ritual symbol that we'll be having to do. But there's that. Your tools. This is kind of nice. It goes through all the different tools. I actually like the purchase in the computer because it actually tells you also what to do with it. So then it goes through each what each ghost is. I actually used this my last game, and um, I didn't get. I wasn't getting any evidence. I was like, oh, let's make a ghost. Let's make a... I actually, no, I got one piece of evidence. So I went in and looked at each ghost to see how it was supposed to be reacting. And I actually got the ghost right because the ghost was acting... The ghost acted on this case how it should have been. So you've got 10 picks like you do with Faz, and then you back here. So then you go to the computer. All right, so the computer... Uh, you got choose the lobby, so U.S. for me. But yeah, we got Europe, you got Africa, we got Australia. As far as languages in the game, I believe they just finished the Polish version. I can't remember the other languages, but yeah. But they are working hard on making the um, of getting the different languages into the game. So choose location. This game has one more house than Faz, uh, which is so which means it's a lot more houses than everybody else. <laughs> um, so Faz I believe has 10 right now uh, this has 11 they need to go back in here and re-add um, small and large yesterday this was uh, small 1, small 2, large 1, 1, 2 um, now it's houses and what street they're on but it no longer tells you how large or small the house is <laughs> Uh, this, I believe, is normally... Yeah, this is normally the house I do my um, my starting runs in just to get used to the game. This is, from what I can tell, the smallest house in the game. And then you got beginner and experienced madman. Um, your sanity drops faster the higher you go. So far, I've not been seeing a difference in money. Uh, I thought I was told there was a difference in money, but I'm not seeing it. So, not sure what that's what's up with that. But yeah, I'm not seeing a difference in money right now uh, as far as beginner or experience. Though I will say I, I tend to do experience just because the ghost reacts faster. Uh, beginner was driving me nuts on how fast, um, how slow my sanity was going down. But we'll do beginner just for right now, just for the simple fact of... Um, so I can show you around the house, at least that house. So here's our equipment. Everything we, everything eventually we'll, we'll be able to buy. Uh, if you don't own anything of it, well, they kind of need to change this because we have because it's red is supposed to be that you don't own it, but your basic gear shows up red also. So it's kind of so I guess on one hand it's okay, on the other hand I'm not sure if they need to change it or not. But we you start with EMF, you start with a notebook, you start with a video camera. You start with the spirit box, you start with uh, motion infrared sensor, and you start with the UV flashlight, and you start with the thermometer. Uh, everything else is by. This is what I really like. Ah, we really need a new equipment. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this, and one reason why I like this is because instead of the tutorial, there's this for right now, which tells you everything you need to know about the equipment and how to use it. Um, that is the key part, is that this is how you use it. So you got your EMF detector, zonal EMF detector, which doesn't tell you how strong, but it gives you a a sense of what direction the ghost is. Don't have one of these yet. Your motion, voice recorder. This is this is one of the items you're going to want to buy as soon as you get level three, because this is one of the evidence gear. Um, salt, all this kind of stuff. Cross, candle, energy drink, sandy pills, incense, UV flashlight, and most of this stuff is for the objectives. Spirit box, photo camera. You'll want to buy one of this. You don't need this right off the bat because it doesn't. Um, these are just for objectives. Video camera, spray paint. I need to get some spray paint just for the ritual. I need to know what the hell I'm doing with this. No, let's grab one. Uh, tripod, floodlight, dots projector. This is the other piece of the evidence gear that you do not start with. That once you get level two, you want to buy. Everything else is for the objectives. Plus this. Once you once you get to level 5 and are able to start doing the rituals, um, you'll want this. So, yeah. 
But that's that. So let me show you into the house. Happy hunting. I do like the voice coming back and talking to you off and on. So that door will always open from the van. And this is the only thing the van is used for. I don't I haven't found anything special about the van. Um like it's just here. I almost wonder if they put it in just because Ghost Hunters Core had it. But there's nothing as as of right now, there's nothing really special with the van. But here's where you walk in. So instead of getting your gear from the van, you get your gear from a tent you put up. A nice little yurt. So, or yurt like uh, product. But here's where you would see your sanity. Uh, from what I've noticed, your sanity goes, once your sanity gets to 50, this turns yellow. And I haven't found the number where it turns red yet. I haven't let myself get down that low yet. Unlike, uh, unlike, I think Faz goes right to left. I could be wrong. Maybe Faz is... I can't remember Faz. For some reason, I want to say Faz's goes right to left. And I think I'm actually might be wrong. This one goes left to right. So it's... So your new stuff... No, actually, no, it's right to left. So your new stuff is here, and then you go. I think. Let's we'll see. For some reason, I want to say this is left to right. But here's where you're, you get all your gear. Here's your board. Here's your map. So multi-levels, you just click on that. But... Determined Ghost and Performing Exile Ritual is always the same. Then you've got four objectives that change. So in this, uh, take a picture of Ghost in Hunting Mode. Good luck with that. Because uh, your sprint, this is your sprint. And then, and unlike Faz, where after five seconds it, you get another burst, like another three-second burst, no, you have to totally rest and not be sprinting. To get your sprint back. So, yeah. So, getting away from the ghost is a little bit harder. Uh, zero sanity. Drop a protective sign in favorite ghost's favorite room. And ghost blow out a candle. These are your items. Uh, unlike Faz, unlike Obsidio. Like Obsidio, you start with a torch. You start with a torch here also. Um, where Faz, you have to buy it. Well, they have, basic, they have the basic torch, but you also have to buy it, the better one. This one, you just start with a flashlight. So turn on. Uh, unlike Faz, Obsidio, most of the other games, this game you get to carry three items, which is really nice, to be totally honest. So I normally carry this. I normally carry... This is one thing they need to fix, is I've got two open spots. I should be able to click on anything with the E and just pick it up. Right now, you have to go to a blank spot and put it in there. So... It's kind of annoying. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> but yeah. And you just and then it's go in the house. But like I said, uh, you have to go in and you need to look in your drawers. So that drawer's locked, so there's nothing I can do in here. Apparently there's gonna be keys in here I should be able to find that will let me open up these drawers. So far I've not found a single key. I don't know if they're in the game yet. It might not be. If you're looking for the drawers that you can open. And here's our stuff we need. Well, some of the stuff. Oh, well, yeah, we're on beginner, so we don't need, we're not really going to need fuses. But, okay, so now you see bottom right, you've got a tag. So this is what you need for the ritual. Because Stella Davis, 79 years old. Really, you just need this part. And then you just walk around. You pay attention to what the ghost is doing to help with the room. I normally walk around with this just to try to find the coldest area to help me try to find out where the ghost is. But there's our Ouija board. Unlike Faz, all you got to do is walk up to the Ouija board for it to turn on. But as soon as you walk back, it turns back off. Uh, so far, I haven't found a, the only, like, what is your favorite room and uh, how old you are. Are the only two questions I've found so far. Where you're at doesn't it doesn't answer that. But as you can see in this room, Ghosty is kind of active. Then you go through beginner. Your power box is always on. From what I from what I have found, oh well, not on, but you have all your fuses. 
See these little fuses right there? And then you got to click on this to turn it on. Uh, once you go to intermediate, one of these are gone. Uh, Madman, there might be more that are gone. I'm going to guess there are more fuses that are gone. Like two. But normally you find both the fuses around the same area if you're doing Madman. But yeah, so Ghost was active, so then you would do this. Walk around with this a little bit. I'd love to see a haze, but I haven't seen a haze since the update. So I don't even know if they're in the game right now, if they got broke. Because yeah, like I said, I streamed for three hours this morning and I haven't seen a haze at all. I I think they're broke. Oh wait, I am wrong. There we go, That that is a haze. So basically it will just float around in the ghost room. So finally we, sat, we found one. So put down haze. Put that down. That turned on. I want to see if I get any spike. Not really. We're not going to do a full. We're not going to do a real hunt. We're just gonna. I just kind of wanted to show you guys around the house. Uh, sometimes getting, sometimes getting evidence is a little bit of a pain, but I think that's just because it's a new game. There's still there's still some bugs in some of it giving you evidence, not giving you evidence, things like that. So just be aware that that is going on. Let me go back to let's chat and and go with that. But yeah, but would I suggest buying the game? Yes, I would, uh, especially if you like these type of games. Um, it but just just realize it is early. It is. I mean, it's only five days old as far as early access goes. So you're going to have some bugs. I've not found any game-breaking bugs yet, though, to be totally honest. It's been actually pretty clean. Uh, the biggest thing is sometimes getting the evidence is sometimes a pain. That I'm not always getting evidence. Um, what else? But the developers are responding pretty quickly. Uh, they're responding pretty quickly to their Discord. So that has been pretty. That has actually been pretty nice. Of anything, anything we've been mentioning in Discord. Uh, they are getting right on and trying to fix. So they care about their they care about their game. So, uh, which is the other reason why I would say buy it is they are they care about the game. They are working hard on it, and I I have high hopes for this game. I think this game is going to turn out very nicely. Um, honestly, I have high hopes that this game might be better than Faz once it's once all is said and done. So. Like, I started playing Faz at the five-month point. So I have an idea in my head of where this game should be at the five-month part. So we'll see if it's at that or not in five months. But this is going to be one game that is going to be on my rotation for my for streams. So, because I do like it. I do want to keep playing it. I am going to be keeping on watching it and seeing how it's progressing, letting you guys all know how it's doing. I will be doing content for it. So you'll be seeing content for this out on the uh, out on my YouTube, but other than that, guys, I'm liking this game. Uh, it's definitely got some stuff in it that none of the other games have. So, which is another reason why I would recommend it. But I hope you guys, if you guys purchase it, I hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Hope you guys be kind, be safe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.